Hey everyone, this is Seth and Stephanie from One World Tuition, and today we got the opportunity to go check out the St. Augustine Lighthouse uh, and Maritime Museum. and has been a functioning lighthouse ever since. Mm -hmm. The lighthouse itself is actually 219 steps all the way up to the top. And back when it was still a lamp burning lighthouse, I had to say that so many times, lamp burning lighthouse, stuff um, the lighthouse keeper used to have to walk up all 219 steps with a 20 pound bucket of oil to keep the lamps burning. We'd have to clean it, everything up there. Um, so what's kind of cool about this lighthouse is it is interactive. So at the bottom, you can pick up a 20 pound bucket, kind of see what that felt like. It's pretty heavy, um, but about halfway up, they have another one that you can pick up. Uh, by that point, you're pretty exhausted. You can just kind of feel that weight that they used to have to carry every single time. I don't know how they did it, but nothing really beats getting up to the top and walking through that door and seeing the St. Augustine beach and the ocean and just seeing that horizon line. Um, from up that high. that piece of ocean that you can see there's three to five hundred shipwrecks out there because it's such a dangerous shoreline because of the sandbars it used to be the most dangerous part of the shoreline on the eastern coast um, they said there was a shipwreck every two weeks Yeah, we actually learned that from an archaeologist that we uh, got a chance to take a tour from today. Right on site, all the people there are really well trained and know a lot of the history. 
Uh, so that was pretty cool. But um, he actually, he, he goes off and he dives for it, right? Yeah, the archaeologist that we spoke to, he goes out on a boat every summer and dives down and digs these things up out of the sand and he told us about the whole process and Super. brings them back to the lab, which is right there on campus. You can actually go into the lab and I think during the week we can view them cleaning stuff off. Right. Um, but he cleans it off and gets it all ready for the museum. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the museum actually used to be the old light, uh, lighthouse keeper's home. Um, it was actually a duplex. Uh, and there were three keepers at the time that would kind of rotate, so you'd always have two on site. Um, but they turned that into a museum, so now you can actually go in, you can see some of the old cannon, um, uh, cannons and cannonballs and, and coins and all sorts of really cool stuff inside that museum. It's, it's an awesome place to check out. to go get involved in history so if you have an opportunity you're in the area definitely go check it out thanks for checking it out today guys you just got schooled by one world tuition bye later. We both did that at the same time. <laughs> we are one world tuition. Oh. Like, ah. <laughs> just lean out like that. I had to start over. Hey, everyone. There are people coming up the long way. Stop. You just got schooled by one world tuition. Like, ah. Like, ah.